everybody, and welcome to Fun Physics with Felines. I am Professor Meow Mentum. Today's lesson will be electrostatics. Now, first of all, there are two types of charges, positive and negative. Alike charges will repel. Opposite charges will attract. Isn't that right, Paula? of material has a different arrangement of atoms, electrons, and protons. The particular arrangement of a material's atoms can be very advantageous for electric charge to travel through it. For instance, a cat's body allows electric charge to travel through it easily. It is a conductor. Rubber has its atoms arranged such that it is very difficult for electric charge to follow through it. Rubber is considered an insulator. Ooh, that rubber ducky looks delicious. Never mind, must not eat the physics experiments. Moving on. And now it's time for our fun physics joke of the day. Fun physics joke of the day. <laughs> Why did the cat fall off the roof? Give up? Because he lost his mew. <laughs> Each object contains charge. For most objects, the number of negative charges equals the number of positive charges, giving a net charge of zero. When certain types of materials are rubbed against each other, the material's atoms are arranged such that some of the charges from one material will be transferred to the other material. This gives both objects a net charge. For instance, if we take this rubber ducky and rub it against this cat's fur, Meow. some electrons are rubbed off the fur and onto the rubber. So the rubber ducky acquires a net negative charge. Well, I don't know about you, but that's about all the physics I can handle for now. So a goodbye and a final word of the day to you. Black clothing attracts cat hair in direct proportion to the darkness of fabric. <laughs> wow, that is sure a great life lesson. Goodbye, everybody, and I will see you next time on Fun Physics with Felines.